Hi guys, this is Rishabh Kapoor from WebSoftTutorials.com. In this video, guys, we will talk about widgets in WordPress. So, firstly, guys, I want to tell you what are widgets. I'll give you an introduction. A widget is a plugin or built-in app that interfaces with the public on the side. In other words, it displays something that the public can see and click on it. Means it's just like a plugin or inbuilt application that the public can see on the side. I will show you. This is our website. These are the widgets you can see on the right side. Recent posts, recent events, archives, meta. These are the widgets. Examples are the list of recent posts, which you can see. The po all the posts which we post we have which we have created, and a box that shows your shows your Facebook followers. Means you can also include many widgets. Like uh, example is given that you can use a widget of Facebook, which will show that how much follower you have, and uh, a link will be there uh, to uh, like your Facebook page. So we will include this Facebook uh, box in this tutorial. So we will use uh, two widgets. First one will be an inbuilt widget, and second will be a Facebook widget. widget. So now I'm gonna tell about what are widget areas. A widget area is a place in the code of your site that can accept a widget. The most popular widget area is sidebar. This this is the right sidebar. So this is the widget area. You can also use widgets in the left sidebar. Means if you want to use a widget area, firstly you need to register it. Means if you are creating a theme, but if you are using some. Uh, uh, if you are using some theme free of course same from the internet uh, then they will provide you some area in, in which you can use the widgets in uh, in this uh, theme you can see uh, the widget area is on the right side right so right sidebar means most of the widgets are used in the sidebar some themes use the widgets in the footer as well and you can also create your own widget areas so for that firstly you need to register the wid widget area so you can search uh, the tutorials related to uh, how to register a widget area in uh, WordPress. So, if you will face any problem regarding this, then you can comment me and then I will create a tutorial on it that how can you register new widget areas. So, firstly, we will use first uh, for, uh, for to use widgets, you need to go to appearance and click on widgets. Now, you can see this is main sidebar in which these widgets are. These widgets are here. These are simply drag and drop. You need to drag it out if you don't want to, don't want to use it, and you need to refresh. Now I can see only search is here. Oops. I need to go back. Right. Let's see, I need to remove it from here. Now refresh. Only search is here. Now. These are the widgets which you can easily drag here. So if I'll drag some text, so I can write any text or HTML here. So I will write, give it a title of custom content. Then I will use a h1 tag and h1 tag here. So all right, this is custom content widget. Save. Do go the browser and refresh. You can see custom content. This is the title and this is the content. This is custom content widgets. Widget means you can see this is uh, the in inbuilt widget which we have used. Now we will install one more widget. Guys, the procedure is same. We will install the widget in the same way. Uh, in the same way of we, uh, installing it. Plugin. So we we'll click on go to plugins and add new. So I will write. Uh, I write responsive Facebook like box widget. You can simply search for Facebook widget. Uh, I'm searching Facebook and uh, responsive Facebook. You can see this is the widget. This it will display a more flexible and responsive uh, responsive well Facebook. Uh, like box on your WordPress sidebar widget. More than that, it is also unable to display your code template. So I will click on install. Now. Are you sure you want to install? Click on OK. 
the procedure of installing a vidcat is same as plugin so click on activate plugin so you can see this is the vidcat like facebook like box guys if you want to uh, delete a plugin firstly you need to deactivate it by clicking de de deactivate then you need to click on delete then it will then it will ask you a confirmation message that you want to delete this uh, plugin or not you can click on yes to delete it now I will go to vidcats then you will see a new vidcat you can see a Facebook like box so I will drag it here now you need to add the URL here so I will go to google.com and I will add the URL of my WebSoft tutorials WebSoft tutorials Facebook I just need to copy it copy the URL and I need to paste it so instead of writing Facebook I will write like us on Facebook and you need to you can adjust width and height so I will give it a height of 22 and you want to show the streams or show the header so I'll if you want to show it you need to check it so click on save and refresh you can see Facebook like box which is showing about WebSoft tutorials means vidcats are uh, which you can use on the sidebar it is same just at plugin which you can which you have seen in this tutorial that the procedure of uh, installing a uh, plugin and installing installing a vidcat is same so it is just like a plugin but the uh, difference is all the vidcats can be seen by the public means the visitor of your website and it is mostly used in the vidcat areas means the area which is registered for using vidcat so you can also register new vidcat areas so you can search it on the google that how you can you register new vidcat areas if you face any difficulty regarding uh, registering new vidcat area you can tell me uh, yeah, or you can comment comment me uh, below this video then I will make a tutorial that how can you create a new vidcat area so guys uh, these are the this was about how uh, what are the vidcat what are vidcats in WordPress now today task is do you need to use different different vidcats like uh, testimonials vidcats you can also use slide of vidcats it depends upon your requirement so today task is to work with vidcats so thanks for watching this video guys don't forget to subscribe my channel to get recent updates about my videos let's see in the next tutorial